Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I decided I wanted to take you all for a little ride with me. And I'm really hoping that you can hear me. I have to speak a little louder because of the wind. It feels like I have to speak louder because of the wind hitting my ears and stuff. And for those of you that are curious, I have my audio mic with my wind buffer about center, well, about where my uh, solar plex is on my chest to block some of the wind from the uh, from the mic from the. Uh, Block some of the wind with the windshield, put it that way. And uh, my GoPro is outside my windshield. Of course, the sun's behind me now. I don't really have a choice here for the moment. But I'm doing this video so that you can... I'm working on a new way of doing ride videos. I watch a lot of motor vloggers, moto vloggers, as it were. And they all wear helmets and they all put their microphone inside their helmets and you can hear every breath they take. And you really can't hear the bike. So I kind of wanted to see if the windshield will block 90% of the wind noise and still pick up my voice and still allow you to hear the bike. Now this is not a loud bike, this is a Honda Goldwing. It's a very quiet bike for the most part. But it's funny because <laughs> somebody mentioned that it's weird not hearing me talk about dentures all the time. And sometimes, every once in a while, I don't talk about dentures, but it's ironic because 99% of my videos are about dentures, and I always figure out a way to implement what I've learned from my dentures into a video of some sort. Just like this, when I was when I was uh, when I first got my dentures, nobody was teaching how to eat with dentures or talking about the crap that went along with getting immediate dentures or anything else. They, they just wanted to talk about how pretty their smile was. There was a few people that would show that they could eat something after a few months, but they weren't really talking about the full experience like I was. So I learned from that experience of having to learn everything on my own and I learned <coughs> and I excuse me and I learned that I can take what somebody else does and I can manipulate that and make it what I want it to do so I want you guys to have like a real world experience when you're on the bike with me I want you to hear the sound of the bike. I want you to hear some traffic noise. I want you to hear my voice. So it's it's more realistic for you. I don't want it to be all you hear is my voice and my breathing, so to speak. I want it to be more realistic, more of a real experience. And I've kind of learned all this with my denture channel, you know, learning that some people want to experience things in real world, not just me talking about it. They want to experience it with you. So I'm hoping this turns out because I would really like to be able to do more videos like this in the summer. Today's absolutely beautiful. It's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's just an absolutely beautiful day. I don't have to wear my gloves, which is nice. I don't have to wear a beanie. 
which makes it real nice. But everything I do in my life, everything from doing my exercises to help my you know, regain my strength to eating to ride videos like this, um, pretty much everything has developed since I got my dentures. I would have never thought to, I would have never thought to put an action camera on the windshield of my bike and a microphone on my chest and do a ride video if I hadn't have started my denture channel. And that's a fact. And the fact is that everything I do today came from, well, basically came from me getting my dentures. I mean, had I not got my dentures, I'd still be in pain. I wouldn't enjoy riding my bike unless it was 70 degrees or above. Uh, I wouldn't be able to breathe cold air. I wouldn't be eating the things I'm eating. I would have never started my denture channel. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, I would have never started my dentures versus food channel. I would have never heard. Well, none of this would exist. I wouldn't be doing anything like this had it not been for my dentures. So my dentures have taught me a lot more about life in general than just learning how to eat. They've taught me patience. They've taught me that I have a lot more inner strength than I ever thought I had. They taught me that I have a lot more mental strength than I thought I ever had, or that I ever thought I had. They've taught me a lot about my life. And in doing so, it gave me the opportunity to start helping others and start teaching others and helping others learn that there's more to life than just living with rotten teeth and struggling with dentures. Life is good when we make it good and life is bad when we make it bad. I used to say my life sucks because that's just the way it is. I have no choice. This is just my life. But I was wrong. I had a choice. I used to say, I suffer from depression because depression is a disease and there's no cure. And in my case, I was wrong. I think that the majority of my depression came from the poison in my body from my rotten teeth, that poison in my body. And, you know, um, I also think that being in pain all the time, just like I am now with my shoulder and such, um, I think that added to my depression. And I still, I had a choice. I could do something about it or I could sit around and just whine and piss and moan and complain that I was depressed all the time. I've decided to do something about it. I have not gotten depressed at all this winter. Um, I've had a couple of bouts where I got slightly depressed, but I snapped myself out of it rapidly because I remember what it was like to be in deep, dark, miserable depression and when you let yourself get that deep you can't get out it's like digging a 12 foot hole with a shovel and not having a ladder you can't get out but I, I mentioned that in another video you still have the shovel in the hole with you you can dig your way out of that hole you can dig steps you can do something to get out of that hole there's always a choice so, yeah, maybe not all my videos have to do with dentures, but you can associate 
what I'm doing with the fact that I got my dentures and I'm able to do the things that I'm doing. So it's awesome. Now, um, again, I want to thank Denture Fit for their sponsorship because without them, I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't be here doing this for you. I wouldn't be able to make these videos and continue helping as many people as I'm helping. That alone tells you how much Denture Fit cares for the denture community. I mean, just that alone. Just the fact that they're sponsoring my channel and allowing me to continue helping people tells you how much they care because they don't have to do that. But they know how many people I'm helping. So if you haven't tried Denture Fit yet, the link is in the description. It's the first little blue line right under this video. And remember, if you're in the United States, you can still get on the subscription plan for $16 a month for a standard kit and $21 a month for a snug up kit. And uh, I hope everybody has an amazing day. I'm gonna whip over here at this church, it looks like, and get ready to turn off the camera and everything so I can keep riding because it's an absolutely beautiful day and I just wanna ride. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, this bike is, is my depression cure and I don't ride I don't ride because it's just fun to me my bike is a lifestyle I prefer my bike over a car a truck a van a motorhome I prefer my bike over everything I'm free I mean look at this everywhere I look I can see I can see everywhere I'm not in a cage I don't have bars next to me and bars up here in front of the window and and a hood over you know a roof over my head where I can't even look up and see the sky and the trees and everything it's I hate being in a cage all right my friends I hope everybody has a fantastic day don't forget to keep smiling keep trying and whatever you do never give up